Hello and welcome to PCR London Valves 2024. My name is Dr. Rob Smith, I'm an interventional cardiologist from the Brompton in London, and I'm delighted to be joined today by Professors uh, Taramasso and Professor Giesler from Germany and uh, Switzerland, respectively. We are today going to talk about some of the trials that we've seen uh, presented here at London Vals, um, some of which are updates on previously presented trials. Perhaps I could start with you, um, Maurizio. Um, the CLASP 2D study was uh, presented yesterday. Could you give us a bit of an update on that and explain briefly what was, uh, what was just found? Yeah, thanks, Rob, for the question. Really important trial. Actually, it is a randomized controlled trial comparing patients with severe degenerative matter regurgitation getting treated with Pascal, so edge to edge repair with Pascal, compare with a two to one randomization to a, another commercial available tier device. And actually the two year result has been recently released. Uh, this result confirmed the high safety profile of the Pascal in the context of the generative MR patient with the sustained MR reduction. The results were already outstanding at one year. This is maintained up to two years. And there was a, a, a registry arm of this study as well, wasn't there? Could you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, the, the registry result reflect a bit more what we see also a bit in the real world. So less ideal candidate, where maybe they could eventually be suboptimal because they have more complex anatomy. And, and the data showed that even in more complex anatomy, so not ideal anatomically speaking patient, we can get good and sustainable results. So this is extremely satisfactory as well. Okay, so a very durable result for, yeah. the, for, for the patients across the board, uh, the spectrum of, uh, of, of risk. Okay, so perhaps moving on, Tobias, um, uh, you were the PI for the MyClass study, which was presented yesterday. Could you tell us a bit more about that, please? Yeah, sure. The MyClass study was a post-market uh, clinical study to evaluate the effectiveness and safety of the Pascal device in edge-to-edge -edge therapy including a broad spectrum of uh, etiologies, including functional and degenerative uh, mitral regurgitation. And uh, we could confirm actually the one-year results that were already presented and published, uh, showing a durable effect on MR reduction. 81% um, of patients had not more than mild MR. And there was also a durable um, effect uh, with regard to quality of life. 13.4 um, points improvement of quality of life and a reduction of heart failure hospitalization, what, which, which was quite substantial after two years and durable. And that reduction in hospitalization, um, was that seen across the board? Was it selected patients that were more likely to, to benefit? FMR, um, sorry, secondary MR versus primary MR, was there any difference in the hospitalization rate? Yeah, there was a difference between these both um, groups, but still, I mean, also in functional MR, I mean, these are sicker patients mm. with poor left ventricular function, mm. and they have a higher likelihood of uh, rehospitalization. And despite this, uh, the hospitalization rate could be reduced to more than 60 percentage. And in this real world population, was the device safe? What was the procedural uh, risk? So the procedural success was quite high with 97% uh, seven percentage. Um, the complication rate was quite low. So the SLDA rate, so the detachment rate, single leaflet detachment rate was very low with 1.4 percentage. So it's a very safe procedure. And most of these SLDAs uh, are cured very early, 30 days. So the long-term results are very uh, okay. assuring. So what I think we've seen from both of these studies is that the, the, the Pascal system here appears to give a durable result out to two years. Uh, it appears to be a very safe device um, in both trial and real world patients. So perhaps moving on from that, um, maybe I'll start with you, Maurizio. How does the, what you've learned impact upon your real world practice? What does it, what does it change? Uh, actually, um, I think the, the really good result in both trial and real world population are just the, the translation to the performance, the technical performance of the device. Mm. So Tobias, taking that forward, what aspects of the device um, do you think uh, help you treat your patients effectively? Oh, there are a number of aspects actually. So the steerability is very good. Uh, the responsiveness rate has really improved with uh, the precision system now. Mm -hmm. 
which we have now in our hands. Uh, and also, I very like the elongation feature with the Pascal device and the nitinol, nitinol um, um, feature design of this mm. device, which really helps in, in uh, complex, uh, challenging uh, anatomies. And I think this is also an explanation for the good results we see in these complex patients, as well uh, in the class 2D study, as also in the my class study, 18.4% mm. of the patient had complex mm. anatomies. Mm. And I think this is a really um, good, good features for, for, for automatic behavior of the okay. device. So Maurizio, taking that forward, what specifically about the Pascal system enables you ach to achieve that maneuverability around the left atrium, left ventricle? It's a really good point. And having two independent catheters that you can maneuver completely one independently from the other without any locking mechanism allows you to basically reach every part of the valve, even in challenging situations like really big or really small left atrium or suboptimal transeptal puncture. Uh, so this is really what precision means. Maneuverability that translates then in safety and, and at the end, good result. Thank you. So um, to wrap up now, I think what we've seen is that in both of these studies, the device has a, is durable. It reduces um, the MR in these patients out to two years and we assume longer. Um, it's comparable to the currently available devices. And most importantly, I think, a lot of those features that we've touched on both give you efficacy, but I think more importantly, give you safety. Um, so I'd like to thank both of you now um, for, for being kind enough to come in to explain uh, the results of these studies, which I think have been extremely interesting. So thank you both for your uh, time.